in this chapter we talk about uh, the problem solving process we will use some example to illustrate it, uh, the ideas uh, that how we can uh, obtain the stress string uh, in a structure by solving some partial differential equations uh, but before we doing this I, I want to uh, emphasize that uh, the title of this chapter is rectangular coordinate 2D problem in rectangular po or coordinate means that we are uh, solving uh, the most simple problem see uh, different problem in different coordinates will have different kind of difficulties uh, the problems in rectangular coordinate is the most simple one okay the, the a, li a little bit more complicated you may have polar coordinate like a sphere or a circle like something like this and even more complicated may be a elliptical coordinate hyperbolic coordinate and bipolar coordinate such and such so um, so we want to begin with the uh, the most simple uh, problems the problem in rectangular coordinate and before we do this we need to have uh, some idea about the Simulan principle here so uh, we started with uh, section 3.1 and effect similar principles okay um, consider two plate okay this plate and this plate plate A and plate B uh, they are exactly the same the same material the same size and, and same shape uh, but they are, subject, uh, they are subjected to different loadings see this is a sharp triangle loading this is a a, a a distributed load with a little bit curved okay so obviously uh, this loading is different from this loading okay but see here uh, the upper part of this play is subject to subjected to tensile load the lower part subjected to compressive load right and this one is uh, in the same manner tensile load here subpassive uh, compressive load uh, in the uh, down uh, in the downside so uh, we uh, so the resultant force uh, of these two set of uh, external force may be equal if we compute the resultant force of this di distributed law we get this FA and MA uh, they are representing the resultant force and resultant moment and here we compute the resultant force and resultant moment of this will distributed law to get this one okay now uh, there is a possibility that the resultant forces of these two plates are equals and also the resultant lo uh, moment are equal means FA equal to FB MA equal to MB okay uh, then what happened see resultant forces and resultant moment we uh, present the, the effect uh, to to change the global behavior of the play so we if we if these two plays have the same resultant forces and resultant moment we expected that inside the play the the stress day or and the deformations uh, are very similar if they have the same uh, resultant forces okay means that even though on the boundary the stress distribution are not the same but in, uh, but their resultant force and resultant moment are the same then inside uh, inside the play the stress will be approximately equal uh, equal to each other so sigma a and sigma b will be approximately equal inside okay but at the edge see even uh, th the stress will not be the same why why because the distribution uh, they have different distribution so uh, the, this will tr uh, strongly affect the result so uh, the difference between these two set of distributed low make the stress along the uh, boundaries will not be the same okay they are they are having this different uh, uh, distribution so uh, on the boundary so the so the stress close to the boundary will not be the same here okay so uh, near the edge 
the stress A and stress the stress in pay a, plate A and the stress in plate B will not be the same. But inside, uh, inside the plate, uh, the stress in plate A will, apart, uh, will approximately be equal to the stress in plate B. Okay, this is called the uh, um, Simulant principle. Let us uh, look at uh, an example. For example, in the in the laboratory, we we uh, we uh, often perform the tensile bar test. Okay, to to you know, determine the what the young small jury. Okay. Um, in uh, in some book, you will see that uh, we add a porno p here. Okay, and uh, to 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 pull the bar. Okay, um, but actually. Uh, such kind of situation can be replaced by a distributed load here, sigma x. Okay, so uh, why uh, this play can uh, this bar can be replaced by this one? Because due to the Simulant principle, if the if the uh, resultant force of this distributed load equal to the point uh, point load here, then uh, the stress inside bar A will be equal to the stress inside bar B. Understand? Means that in the middle of bar B and in the middle of bar A, the stresses uh, are similar. Here, this is the, um, uh, the uh, concrete example uh, of uh, Simulant principle. Uh, let us uh, consider another example. See, for example, if we have a, a, a ground, okay, like this, uh, we want to do some uh, uh, ground improvement uh, by putting some uh, some uh, loading uh, on the ground. Okay. Uh, sup for ex uh, sup uh, suppose we have a distributed load, a uh, uniformly distributed load here, and this one is, is non-uniform. Okay. So the loading uh, putting here and the loading putting here are a lot the, uh, uh, a lot the same. But if the resultant force of this loading and the resultant for this loading are the same then what will be the 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 implication if f uh, if the resultant force here and the resultant force are the same then you know, under the ground the stresses and the deformation uh, will be the same the, the stress uh, the stress and the deformation will be equal to stress and deformation here the situation A and situation B will have the same deformation and stresses inside the ground. Okay, of course, near the ground, near the ground, the due to the the distribution pattern are uh, a lot the same. Then near the ground, the stress and the deformation will not be the same. Okay, near here, here the stress and deformation in these two situations will not be the same. But Away, uh, far away from the boundary, the stress and distribution will be the same. Okay, another uh, another thing you need to take care is this: if you have two set of uh, distributed load, uh, uh, and this di these two set of distributed load have different resultant forces, then the sim similar principle cannot be applied. Similar principle can be uh, can only be applied to the situation that when the resultant forces of two systems are the same okay if they are not the same then we, no conclusion can be drawn uh, by using the similar uh, principle 